Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com at NAB 2019, and I'm with Nick from Caldwell and Chemical Wedding. That's right, Chemical now, Wedding is a mouthful. What have we got here? We have some, some new lenses designed by Brian Caldwell, a new company called Caldwell. Um, these are anamorphic lenses that um, are a very, very interesting design, and they follow a, a new way of thinking about anamorphic lenses, looking at full-frame cameras. These lenses are 1.79 to 1 squeeze. Most anamorphics are a 2 to 1 squeeze. 1.79 to 1 squeeze is um, more attuned to the sensor sizes of digital cameras. Um, these lenses are uh, available in, uh, right away. Um, we're delivering the first set in June, and the next batch we're delivering in August. Um, these lenses are designed uh, for both uh, Super 35mm coverage as well as full frame coverage. And there's a kind of a debate um, with regards to what is considered coverage with these lenses because this 50mm, for example, even though it's designed for S35 work, will actually cover the full Alexa LF area. Um, however, the very edges of frame have aberrations in them and the cinematographer has to decide whether or not those aberrations are things they want to use in terms of the look of the image. So um, um, if I can show you the, what, what, a chance to show you the 50mm, you'll see at the top and the bottom of the frame and left and right, you'll see a small drop up, a drop up in focus, uh, which is not actually a focus drop off, it's an, but essentially spherical aberration that makes the image look a bit softer. But what it does is it makes you look at the centre of the frame a little bit more, um, with a bit more attention. Um, cinematographers are looking for, um, for aberrations like that in lenses to be able to lock the audience into someone's face and make things look a bit more dreamy. Also within the range of lenses that we are making we have a 48mm full frame version which doesn't have that aberration so you could hold the 48mm and the 50mm in your kit and decide which lens is more appropriate for the kind of shot that you're doing. If you're doing a wide shot where you need to see everything sharp the 48 might be a better choice. The, um, the full range of lenses we're doing um, I was just about to ask that. Yeah, there we are, I'm right in front of you. So we're doing a, um, a 32mm in the Super 35 versions. We're doing a 32mm, a 40, a 50, a 60, 75, 100 and 150. We're delivering the 32, the 50 and the 100 now. Um, the other lenses will um, will be filling that out into 2020. The, 48, uh, the, uh, the full frame versions of the exact same lenses are 48, 75 and 150. So you can convert the, um, the Super 35 versions to full frame versions if you want to start with the S35 kit. What we're finding is that rental companies are buying one kit of S35 and one kit of full frame and combining them together so they have a six lens kit. Thanks very much. My pleasure.